frost, its technical definition is perennially frozen ground. If you get a glimpse of, of below ground, you see that, that that thin, warm layer is just the very surface soil, and then beneath it, there are these huge ice blocks everywhere, and they have been frozen for you know 50,000 years. And that's about 25% of the northern hemisphere land surface that has this permafrost. In many, many locations, we've observed the temperature of the permafrost to be rising over time. What happens in the north is exactly like if the power goes out to your freezer. So you have all this frozen food preserved there, but as soon as you lose power, it starts to break down and go bad. And when that ice starts to melt and the water drains away, you actually are left with the roads and the houses and the other human infrastructure starts to collapse and settle. Everything's dripping and you hear soil falling and rocks and it's all in the process of you know degrading and moving down slope so carbon that's stored frozen in permafrost is released and then it's in the atmosphere and causes additional warming and that additional warming causes additional thaw and additional carbon release and it goes around and around and so this is sort of a boulder rolling down a hill where it might be moving kind of slowly but once it starts moving, it will be hard to reverse that process. The bottom line is permafrost releases are never gonna overshadow what humans are gonna do, but they're gonna contribute this excess on top of it.